Hello, everybody. I would like to welcome you to our fifth session of series 25, fall 20, 2021. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021, 28 Heshvan 5782. My name is Gladys Perez Muele. I am happy and proud to coordinate the program of Women Learning Group. It, will, it involves Jewish studies, politics, culture, history, art, music, dance, and many more. Following all the previous sessions with research and the study, we will enjoy dancing today with our beloved dance instructor and choreographer, Maurice Perez. Ah. Maurice will also introduce us to beautiful dance shows from across the world. Maurice studied in Paris, ballet and modern jazz. Then he learned Israeli dance with the great masters. I would like to congratulate Maurice for his recent celebration of the 50th anniversary of dance instructions and shows. It drew the viewers from all over the world. Maurice has been with us since we started Ladies Bat Mitzvah in 2008, following, followed by Women Learning Group that started on the fall of 2009. Both programs were initiated by our previous rabbi, Shahar Orestin. Our next week speaker will be our Reverend Cantor Daniel Bendolo. It will be musical to celebrate the final session of six for the fall 2021. Its topic will be stay tuned physically and spiritually. Thank you all for joining us and all the support you give to the Women Learning Group. I would like to thank Viola Turczynski for recording, editing and putting all the sessions artistically on YouTube. I also thank all the office team who help us behind the scene and special thanks to our executives. Without their backing and support, we would not be able to succeed in our wonderful program. Thank you very much for coming and now I would like to welcome Maurice Perez to lead us to dance. Maurice, Merci, merci Gladys. Merci all of you being here with me today, all my friends from all around the world. And uh, what I'm going to present today is something very, very special, you know. That I'm going to present today, you are not going to see on YouTube, you don't see anywhere else, only here on this uh, screen today. It's uh, the Jewish dances to the time around the world. And uh, you know, all the videos I'm going to present today, most of the video is from my first dance group I created in 1982. And I used to call that group Dance Sephardi du Monde, Dance Sephardi Dances of the World. It was my first experience of choreographing. I never choreographed before. And I choreographed one hour and a half of dancing around the world. And I'm very, very proud of my work and of my dancers who put so much effort. And some video you're going to see from 1984, another Sephardic festival, the Jewish wedding. Uh, I'm sorry for the quality of some videos because in 1982 and 1984, the camera was not so great like today. Today you take an iPhone and you can make a nice quality of, of uh, of uh, pictures, but to, like, before was a, an old camera, and I'm sorry, but at least you enjoy the music, the Sephardic music. 
Okay, we are going to make a long, long trip, long uh, journey about uh, going everywhere, going from Mesopotamia to uh, Persian Empire, to North Morocco, to Yemen, to East European uh, countries, where they used to be uh, Sephardic people in, uh, in uh, Romanian, Bulgarian, Yugoslavian uh, countries. First, we have to wear, to wear you first, you have to, uh, to uh, warm up a little. On doit se réchauffer un peu. On va faire deux danses israéliennes d'abord pour se réchauffer. Uh, the easy dances, the basic dances, Lo Atidai and Ora Medura. Uh, please stand up. Even if you don't know the dance, you don't remember, just move, move your leg, your feet. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, as I'm going to first, you know, today I have to share my screen between my screen to my audio. As I will take some time, a few seconds for me to, to share my, uh, my equipment. Okay, share computer. Okay, very good. And now we dance. We are going to start dancing now. Lo Arti die. Let's see the music is okay. Bye. 
My first video, it's uh, 2000 years ago in Persian Empire, in Yemen, in Mesopotamia, wherever we were. And people were dancing. There was not violin, there was not guitar, there was not, there only was percussion. And you're going to see one dancer dancing on the percussion. And after the same video, we are going to see Yemeni dance, Iye Asher Iye, and dance by the, the Arimon dancers. Yes, Okay, Alas. Au Yémen, contrée de sable et de montagne, à la pointe de la péninsule arabique, vivait une communauté juive dont l'origine se perd dans la tempête du temps et que certains historiens datent d'avant la destruction du premier temps. Cette communauté se serait renforcée par l'apport des survivants de la révolte de Bakorva la propagation du judaïsme dans plusieurs tribus, des survivants des massacres des juifs en Arabie du Nord et à la fin du XVIe siècle, d'une fraction des séfarades expulsés d'Espagne. Continue. Let's do the next next dance. Ame antezet. Just to, to stay on the little on the on the mood of the Yemen. Ame antezet is a line dance. I'm sure everybody knows that dance. We remember that dance. Uh, let's put the music on. Ame antezet. Musica. Woo! Thank you. 
איני יכול יותר בך שלא לגרוע. חייכה אליי ואז אמרה לי בנחת, חבוב אתה יכול לקפוץ לי עד מחר. אני אוהבת לנדנד כך את התחת, ואם אינך יכול לראות אז אין דבר. מספיק עם זה ודי, איתי זה לא כדאי, קיבלתי כבר ממך לחץ דם גבוה, שיגעת אותי כל כך עם העמדות שלך. איני יכול יותר בך שלא לגוע יש! בראבו! And the Jews was living here in Mesopotamia at this time, the time of Mordechai. And there was a song, Ben Neafat, between the tiger and Euphrat, sur la, sur la, le, la rivière de, du tigre d'Euphrat. De, 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 de and you're going to see another dance, Mi Yitini Of, that is from the Dance Sephardic Festival in 1982. Okay, let's uh, watch this video and enjoy natur naturellement. D'Espagne, passons à l'Iran, où la communauté juive habite depuis des temps immémoriaux. À la suite de la destruction du premier temps, plusieurs personnalités célèbres comme Ezra, Naimi, Daniel, Mordechai et Esther jouèrent un rôle important à la cour de Perse. La chanson « Ben Prat » entre le tigre et le frat, sur des paroles de Bialik, capture très bien cette dimension historique d'une communauté dont l'enracinement se lit dans les textes bibliques. Israel Shelley from the from the 71 anniversary of independence of Israel. Israel Shelley. That's a very nice uh, nice dance. And we used to do at the club uh, almost every time. <laughs> Thank 
סוחפת נצא במחול, ויחד נשאיר רק לי די. סבו מעגלים, שירו להילולים, מי זו חוגגת בעין שנים, ישראל שלי. try to to remember the song for their parents grandparents in a modern style uh, let's see how the how and and I will show you a little things about the uh, inbal Yemenite inbal dance theater from Israel so it was the biggest uh, Yemenite group in Israel with uh, Sarah Levi Tanai was a, she was the director of the, of the group uh, let's let's see this uh, second uh, third video Yeah, I need 
Uh, oh, here my, uh, that's my little game and I dog. It's Zoya. <laughs> Zoya, that's my game and I dog. Let's go back to the East Europe, the Jews from East European uh, country and the Hasidic dance, let's say. Uh, let's introduce you to now before the next video. Let's do two Hasidic dance, okay? El Nigun Atik and Klezmer. That's some easy, easy dance for everybody. Uh, everybody can, can, can do it. Okay, Musica. On the Shuva El Nigun Atik. Continue with the next dance is Klezmer. Thank you, beautiful. Hasidic. to be 
I call this Hasidic memories. It's something I did a long time ago, and I present that show in different scenes in North America, in, in US, in Europe, and even in the TV program too, in Montreal. And yeah, I just want to, show, to tell you a little the story about the show. It's an old man, Jewish man, who live, just left the synagogue on Shabbat, and he's walking on the street. Suddenly, in his mind, a music came who remember him, remind him when he was a young, when he was working, he was walking there, he was dancing, he was going praying in the, in the synagogue. He remembers that he become young, suddenly he become young. And after that, he come back an old man, the music left him and he walking very shaking because something, uh, to know, uh, his feeling was very, very strong at this time. Okay.
emotional. And I know some people was crying after looking at that because I remember that in mind their, their, their parents, their grandparents, and uh, I know, but it's a, it's a beautiful story. <laughs> uh, now let's go a little to the, to the Spain. You know, in Spain, a lot of things happened in, in Spain after the Inquisition. All the Jews went everywhere in the world. Let's do a dance first to Michelo. It's a kind of romanceros. <laughs> and uh, uh, let's do uh, to Michelo. And after, I have some nice Balkan Sephardic dances. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's put it on. It's a simple dance, everybody can do it. Balkanic Sephardic dance coming from a, it's a set I did for U Romanian, Yugoslavian, and Bulgarian. And the Bulgarian, the last time you're going to see people with the hat, with the rose on the hat, with the belt, like they dance like the Bulgarian people. And it's something very, very, very special. And it's authentic songs from uh, the Jewish Sephardic Jews from Balkan, uh, Balkan countries, okay? As less, I did more, but I could not show everything today, you know. But at least you are going, I'm sure you're going to enjoy that. Okay. Yeah. The, the song was Con Mucha Osasa Osasa e la Bulisa Zapateta. And the first song is a very the origin, origin, origin. The uh, Romanian women singing in Sephardic and living in Romania. And that's very authentic. Okay, uh, after that, we have to go a little to the Middle East to Lebanon to Israel with the Debka. Uh, we have two Debka, the Debka Daluna and Ya Abud. And you're going to see the same song with the, my dance, my dancers. And we're going to see the difference, of course, on the on the on the steps. But let's do together these two songs, Debka Daluna and Ya Abud.
Ustaz con mucha o sasa o sasa y la bulisa zapateta. And the first song is a very origin, origin, origin. The uh, Romanian women singing in Sephardi and living in Romania. And that's very authentic. Okay, uh, after that, we have to go a little to the Middle East, to Lebanon, to Israel, with the Debka. Uh, we have two Debka, the Debka da Luna and the Abud, and you're going to see the same song with the, my dance, my dancers. And we're going to see the difference, of course, on the, on the, on the steps. But let's do together these two songs, Debka da Luna and Ya Abud. <laughs> وشربنا كاس محبتنا ومن بعد العبس ضحكة عيشتنا رجعوا وشربنا كاس محبتنا ومن بعد العبس ضحكة عيشتنا يا ماك مشنا القمر عام قرى الوادي اللي الحب نعطي صور ع جدول الهادي Et ensuite, 
Nada Nada, l'histoire de cette jeune fille qui fait tout pour plaire dans un solo de séduction. Thank <laughs> you.